Whether we make the band in the round or back and forth, we would still need an extra set of circular needles in the same size as the size you plan to use when you make the band. So take the, one of those needles in your right hand and place the project so that the right side of the fabric is facing you. And now we start picking up stitches along the edge of a project. If we pick up stitches along a horizontal edge, like a cast on a bind off edge, then we insert the tip of the right needle from front to back into the very first stitch of the very last row of the fabric. If we pick up uh, stitches along the vertical edge, which is the side edge of the project, then we insert the tip of the needle under the first two strands at the very right side of the fabric, like this. And then we wrap the tip of the needle with the yarn, just as we do when we knit a stitch, but when we make our first stitch, then we simply fold the yarn and place the fold on the needle and pull this yarn through the fabric, forming our first picked up stitch. And then we keep going into the next spot, wrapping the needle with the yarn, pulling that wrap through the fabric, picking another stitch, and so on and so forth. When you pick up stitches along the uh, horizontal edge of the fabric, then usually you would go and pick up one stitch from each stitch of the fabric. When we do it along the vertical edge, it depends on the stitch pattern. If it's got a stitch, then we pick up one stitch from each gutter edge, but when the fabric is in stockinette stitch, as is the case over here, then we pick up uh, three stitches out of every four rows of the fabric. So I picked up three stitches and now I'm gonna skip the next row and go into the row after that. That's a general guideline, but of course a lot depends on the uh, on your project. Okay, all of my stitches are here. I have, let's see, I have 10 stitches on my needles. And now we're gonna make a first kind of mini band and we do it by knitting uh, by working the stitches in stockinette stitch for two rows or rounds. So if you're working in the round, then you would pick up stitches along the whole uh, edge of the neckline, for example, and then you will just knit all stitches in every round for two rounds. But because I'm working back and forth, I'm gonna turn my work and then uh, take the, the other needle and purl stitches in the first row and then turn my work and knit stitches in the next row. So stock in that stitch for two rows or rounds. And here we go. So I finished my two rows of stock in that stitch and I made this little piece of fabric that would be the first kind of mini band. Actually, you can start working in the stitch pattern of your band right away, but I find that uh, the band will look uh, neater and kind of more elegant when we uh, start the band with stockinette stitch and you'll see how it looks in a moment. But for now, uh, once you work two rows in stockinette stitch or if you choose to in a different stitch pattern, we stop and we slide all stitches to the cable of the uh, circular needle. And this is the reason why we started with the circular needle in the first place. Now we turn the work and we're gonna make the second mini band because the idea is to hide this kind of unsightly ridge, let's not say ugly ridge, right? but unsightly ridge inside the fabric. So we'll make two mini bands that would cover all this mess, let's be honest, inside and no one will ever see it again. And our band will look great on both sides of the fabric. Now we can take another needle, it could be the, uh, the other circular needle if you're working in the round, or you can use any other needles, uh, single pointed, double pointed, still totally up to you. And we're gonna pick up stitches for the second mini band. And we will pick them up from the bars, the pearl bars, that resulted from the stitches that we picked up on the right side of the work. And I used the, um, the yarn in a contrasting color on purpose, so you could clearly see those bars. But even if you're using yarn in the same color, those bars are still quite visible because they run perpendicular to the rows of the fabric. So they are quite clear and you can easily recognize them, especially when you 
kind of uncurl this ridge, this edge, so that you see those little pearl bars underneath the, uh, the edge. The first bar will be this one, the one at the very edge of the fabric. And we insert the tip of the right needle, which is another set of needles right now. We don't touch those circular needles anymore. Uh, we insert it from the bottom up under that first um, pearl bar of the first stitch that we picked up on the right side of the work. And then we uh, wrap the needle with the yarn as we do when we knit a stitch and then push this uh, wrap through the bar forming a new stitch. And then we do it again going under the next bar. So we come over here from, uh, from the bottom up, pick that strand and make a stitch from that strand again. And because we slip the stitches on the uh, cable of a circular needle, this mini uh, band is flexible. So it is much easier to work with these bars because they are not uh, tight. They are quite loose and easy to, to catch and to insert the needle under those bars. So we go one by one making a stitch from each bar that resulted from a stitch picked up on the right side of the work. And once we're done picking up those stitches, the number of stitches that we now have on this needle will be the same as the number of stitches that's resting on the cable of the circular needle. So we picked up the stitches and now we again work them in stocking and stitch for two rows or rounds. If you're working in the round, simply knit stitches uh, in two rounds. And uh, if you're working back and forth, then turn your work and purl stitches for one uh, row and then knit them for the next row. So two rows of stocking and stitch. Now the second mini band is finished and it is time to join these two pieces of fabric hiding the, the, the ridge inside those two mini bands. And uh, to do that, first of all, we turn the work so that the right side of the fabric is facing us and we move the stitches from the cable of the circular needle to one tip of circular needle. So once we are done rearranging the work, it should look like this. So you're looking at the right side of the fabric. The mini bands are aligned. The tips of the needles are pointing to the right and the yarn is at the right side of the work. So now that we have this set up in place, we are ready to join the mini bands uh, to make a set of stitches that we'll, uh, we will use to make the band itself. We will use the method that is very similar to the three needle bind off method with one important difference. We are not binding off stitches. We are simply combining these two sets of stitches into one set that we'll use to make the mini band, uh, the, the band actually <laughs> from these two mini bands. So to knit a stitch, we will bring the yarn to the back of the work and then we insert the tip of the right needle you can use one of the circular needles if you wish or the extra set of needles so it's a totally up to you but the size of the needles should be the same so we insert this needle from left to right into the stitch the first stitch on the front needle and in the same fashion left to right into the first stitch on the back needle like this see the needle goes through two stitches at the same time and then we wrap the tip of the right needle that is over here with the yarn same way as we do when we knit a stitch and then we pull this wrap through both stitches at the same time and if you find it difficult to do it in one move especially if the, the yarn is as thick as mine over here, you can do it in two steps. Pull the yarn through one stitch first and then pull it through the next stitch. And then slip both stitches off the tips of the needle. So that's our knit stitch. That's how we knit a stitch from two uh, stitches. Then to purl the stitch, we bring the yarn to the front of the work and then we insert the tip of the right needle 
from right to left into the stitch that is the full stitch on the back needle and then in the same manner from right to left into the full stitch on the front needle like this. Then we wrap the tip of the right needle with the yarn as we do for purling and again push that wrap through both stitches at the same time and slip them off the needles. And we do that to, uh, to combine all of these stitches in pattern of the band. So if you're working in the one by one ribbing, for example, if the band is going to be uh, made in one by one ribbing, so we will alternate. We will knit a stitch, slip these two stitches off, then bring the yarn to the front and we will purl one stitch from these two stitches. If you're working in a different stitch pattern, let's say two by two ribbing or anything else, then follow the pattern instructions and knit and purl stitches in this uh, way that we discussed right now. This is my last purl stitch. So I put the circular needle aside, I don't need it anymore. And I continue to work on the band to make this band using the needles that I would uh, like to use for making this band. Simply work in the pattern of this band. For example, for me it's uh, knit by, uh, one by one ribbing, but it could be any pattern you like. And once you are done making the band as long as you need, you simply bind off stitches in pattern or make um, uh, an elastic bind off. It's totally up to you, but the result that you will get, no matter the type of the bind off, is a completely reversible, beautiful band that looks the same on both sides of the work and hides all the mess of the edge inside the fabric. And it looks good with the yarn in a contrasting color, but it looks also really nice when you use yarn in the same color as the fabric. See, it looks very much like the professionally finished edging, which is a great improvement compared to the look we get normally when we simply pick up stitches from the edge of the fabric without making these beautiful mini bands that hide all the mess inside. So this lead edging does not look really nice on the wrong side of the work because of this ridge that we get when we pick up stitches. But it's not a problem over here when we hide that ridge inside beautiful mini bands. Happy knitting, my friend. I'll talk to you in the next tutorial.